Okay, this is uh, Dream 4 Chapters. And the reason I've got a video today is because of this. Start Book 2. Book 2 has been released today. So, I should explain, Dream 4 Chapters is a... Uh, uh, you know, a story adventure, a bit like the Telltale Games things. It's a sequel to to, uh, to uh, previous games, which I've never actually played. Uh, but they had a good reputation. There was a Kickstarter to uh, buy the rights to produce the, the final chapter in the story, and this is the result. Uh, I got it in the the sales at Christmas, and. Uh, Initially, I was a bit sceptical, but after I played it for a bit, I got really got into the story, and it's turned into one of my favourite games of the year so far, I would say. Uh, definitely a contender for the top 10, 2015. Um, and if I ever finish off my top 10 for 2014 video, um, it might have been a contender for that as well, if I'd have bought it in 2014. But who can say? Anyway... I'm not going to go uh, too much into the plot, there will be some slight spoilers anyway I suspect. And I'm just going to play the, the first part of the game and see what happens. So I'm waiting for stuff to load. So the two main characters from the first part, actually from the previous game I think, one of them is uh, a soldier in, in a fantasy world and the other is uh, basically a student in a uh, sort of cyberpunk future earth and the story flip flops between the two and uh, we know they're related somehow but not exactly how I won't talk about the events of chapter one other than to say that the decisions I made in chapter one should affect th things in this chapter. Okay, so I've skipped a uh, fairly long cutscene where my character here, uh, Keanu, who lives in the fantasy world, uh, Fought, fought an illness with the help of a magical nurse and uh, has triumphed and is now awake. And so uh, we get to do the first, the first scene. I don't know why they don't just kill him when they have the chance. After all, he's our enemy. He murdered Raven. I hear he defected. The Apostle's one of us now. Yeah, I believe that when I see it. So there's not a lot of trust here in a uh, we speak to this dude. No. Not a lot of trust for me. We're sworn enemies, magical people and uh, the Azani. Seems like I can't do any running at this point. Normally pressing shift lets you run, but maybe I'm too sick. So we'll proceed on to the first, the first uh, story. Trader is back on his feet. Praise the balance. How are your wounds? So, this is a game uh, much like the Telltale Games series. are not fully healed. They've dressed them and seen to me while I've been feverish. We must know I'm still weak. This has to be a test. But instead of the timed responses, which I find a bit annoying in the Telltale games, uh, you get to explore each of the possible options, and there's a voice acting recorded for all of them. I won't answer their questions until I know who they are and what they want with me. There's still pain, but I won't admit to weakness in front of these strangers. Now, I did just play through this bit, except, except I'd forgotten to record the game audio, so it was just me speaking. My wounds are not fully healed. And last time I chose fine. Them. Seem to me while I've been feverish. This time I'm going to choose pain to see if there's any difference. This has to I'm in some pain, but my wounds are healing. What is this place? 
Hoping to run back to your masters with the information and buy your life back? Liko. You are in the Enclave, the ancient library of the Sentinel Order of the Balance in Marcuria. It serves as our base of operations. How? Oh. The Resistance of Those who have come together to fight the Azadi. Magicals, like her. And me. I remember. The portal. Blood magic. The Shadow has cursed me. The Goddess will not touch me again. And will never walk the slopes of the First Mountain. Oh dear. The Captain. I murdered him. His blood is on my hands. The Captain. Balsai Bakin laid down his life for yours, Kian. Why? Believe me, I've asked the same question. Why? Why lose a great man like Bakin over you? A butcher, an apostle, fucking Azadi. This creature, this man. I've seen many Dalmari in my life, but there's something familiar about this one. He insults my people. They have committed crimes, yes, but the responsibility lies with our leaders, not with every Azadi. This creature... Yes, Do I know you? Perhaps. But then my people all look the same to you. Do they not? We're livestock. I've turned my back on my people. So you're also a traitor, Kian Alvani. So this guy is never gonna crime. like us. My life was already taken from me. Why make all those sacrifices for a traitor and an enemy? I will not let anyone, least of all a Dalmari, speak to me in this way. My life was already taken. Why am I here? We chose you. We sent Captain Bakim to his death in exchange for your life. We need you. As a symbol. But also so much more. We need strength, we need leadership, we need hope. Our numbers are dwindling. Most Northlanders have come to terms with the Azadi occupation. Humans are turning their backs on the resistance and a blind eye to the genocide of magicals. We need someone to give us hope, so that we can fight back and win. You're a tool, Apostle. A blunt weapon, nothing more. We need your help, Kian. Will you join us? Do I have a choice? There is always choice. And for every choice, there are consequences. You can't let me leave. If I refuse, you'll kill me. We might kill you anyway. Just give me a reason. Cheerily, we have sacrificed so much to bring you here. This is your chance for a new beginning, Kian. A new life. For the redemption I know you seek. So there are some graphical glitches going on here. Um, I've also had some issues with mouse control in full screen. Doesn't matter now. Now this symbol indicates a major choice that will shift the balance of, uh, of whatever's going on. Let them lock me up. Throw away the key. Let them kill me. I will never be one of them. I can never be one of them. But what choice is there? I have no nation, no faith. No mission. What does it matter that their resistance is not mine? Am I fighting my people? I might save my people. So of course, although you are notified that this will shift the balance, you have no idea in what way it's shifted. What would you have me do? You will go into the city tonight with Liko and Eni. They will give you instructions and they will keep an eye on you too. To make sure. To help, if needed. I'll be watching from the shadows, Apostle. A poison arrow pointing straight to your chest. You know our cause is true. You know that your people are in the wrong. Do this, and begin your journey back to life. I'm doing this for April Ryan. She was the one who made me question myself. My mission. My faith. Fuck you, Kazi. There's nothing you can do to repay that debt. April is dead, Kian. Do this instead for all those who still live. Do this for the soul of your people. Do this for yourself. 
The boat will take you to Shady Quay in Old Town. I will let you know when things are ready. After you're done with your mission, we'll meet up at Ulvik's Tavern. And if you don't show, we'll hunt you down and skin you like a rabbit. You may find I'm not a rabbit. Try me, please. Liko. Enough. So he's not like us. So now we can look at our goals. We've got to talk to some uh, other rebels. Once blind Bob. So, let's see. Oh, I can run now. Look, that's nice. Let's talk to this bloke. Hoi, Alvane Dar. It's an honor seeing your eyes. Dar, who taught you the proper Azadi form of address? Oh, I, um, I, I, I did business with your pe with the Azadi for several years. Until my aunt's tavern was shut down and she was arrested. And, until I learned what was really happening. You took part in that raid. At the Journeyman Inn. Ben Reem Salmin is my mother's sister. She raised me after my mother died. I, uh, I, I took her surname. I'm Jackai. Jackai Salmin. So that's the basis of the game there. Um, there is puzzle solving and stuff later on and other actions. But quite a lot of it is running around and talking to people. And, uh, and having cutscenes. So... You know, I'm sure there are people this won't appeal to, but if you do uh, like those Telltale, ga Telltale games or into adventure games, I think this is excellent, and you should definitely check it out. Um, there's there's uh, three chapters in this second book that's been released, and there'll be a third book to finish off the game, I think, later in the year. Um, the first the first two chapters I really enjoyed. I'm looking forward to playing through the three chapters here. 